Howdy everybody, Argon Matrix here, welcome to the episode, I think, 66 of our Pokemon Leaf Green Nuzlocke. It's been a little while, because I've been uh, contemplating what to do since the previous episode. There's been a lot that's changed since then. And we're starting in kind of an unorthodox spot here, as you can see. I'm in my standard sort of uh, grinding place at Cycling Road. And that's for good reason, because I have been grinding lately. I've been grinding up our old team. As you can see here, we've got all our old guys, all up to level 66, which is the uh, previously say at a level limit before the Elite Four. Oh, it's it's nice to have them like back in my hands. They're so it's, it's it's a weird sort of nostalgia. Like I know it's like hasn't even been that long since we've fought with these guys, but it's the uh, it was nice to see them back in action and everything. I have them here. Uh, the other team that I have that has died now is in the PC. So we will be doing their uh, sort of send-off in a little bit here, but before anything, I wanted to show something that's been long overdue. Is some is a uh, you may I'm just, I'm just gonna get right into it. On I think it was like Five Island, we picked up this the upgrade, which is an item that normally you would attach to Porygon and trade Porygon to upgrade him into Porygon Two or evolve him into Porygon Two even. We can't do that because it's an emulator, but I have it set up so that it, when he levels up at a certain level, I think it was like level 30, then he would become Porygon 2, but I didn't want to do that, obviously, until I had the upgrade so it would be more legitimate. We've had it for a while, and I just haven't done it because I have need to evolve him, but now I think before we take on the Elite Four, <laughs> which is what I plan to do with this team now, we have him almost right on the cusp of level 66 here, which will be the level limit. So I'm going to go ahead and use my Versus Seeker face one of these dudes, I think you will do just fine, if I remember what you have. And then, this should be Porygon 2, finally! Kevin CV gets to gets to shine after all this time holding that freaking Everstone, and just never being given the chance to evolve. This is your moment, my man. Oh yeah, I do have battle animations turned off, I need to turn those back on. This might not get enough experience, actually, I'm not sure. Oh, are you freaking kidding me? He's just shy, look at that. Alright, let's see what one of these other dudes wants to brawl. This is a very anticlimactic way to start off what's probably going to be the first Elite Four video, I imagine. Uh, the first Elite Four, I guess, round three video. But, um... It has to be done, I think. I think this is a necessary... Necessary sort of... Moment for us. It's a monumental moment, if nothing else. It's climactic. Kevin CV has been with us, with us for a very long time, through thick and thin. There's level 66, so after this battle, he's ready to take on his new form at long last. Oh, it's been so agonizing just having that Everson on him, knowing that at any moment I could just take it off and evolve him, but it just wasn't worth it, man. It just wasn't worth it until now. Until now, when he's finally ready to take on his true form. So just deal with this last Machop here, and let's go. Come on. I can't wait, man. Koji, stop talking. Stop talking. It's a knockout, I know, but... Kevin CB is evolving? Oh my god! One of the most anticipating evolutions that I've ever had. I don't know about you guys. This is... Oh gosh. He's so round! Kevin CV has evolved into Porygon 2. My good god. There he is. Let's get a good look at this guy. Holy snap. Substantially increased stats, actually. That's a fairly good stat out, out layout there. Psychic, Recover, Thunderbolt, Thunderwave. All the moves on these guys, I'm, I believe, are the exact same. Um... I haven't changed anything. I, th I think I might... No, I'm just gonna leave Zamori as he is. I kinda want, I kinda like having their old movesets play around with here. But that's that. Everyone's up to level 66 now, but uh, before I forget anything here, I'm gonna go into the options and turn these bat the battle scene back on. And now we are going to fly on over to the Indigo Plateau and, um, I guess get this underway. We have one last somber sort of uh, thing to do that'll hopefully fill us with the vengeance we need in order to take on the Elite Four. Let it be known the Nuzlocke is officially over, it is lost, but I'm going to be taking on the Elite Four with all my Nuzlocke rules still in place, just 
as sort of a nice send-off to this series. We've been doing it for this entire time. I'd like to prove to myself, if nothing else, that I can do it with our uh, with our old team. So we're going to give it a go. But before that can happen, we have a, a bit of a send-off to do here. Our old team. Cow's Crazy, Kirito, Zelos, Impolo, Mr. T, and Coco. Fought bravely. That's to be sure. And... Unfortunately, luck just was not on their side. That last Elite Four round, that was tough against Lorelei. We just didn't have the dice rolls that we needed. I don't put any of the blame on them or necessarily on myself. Maybe a little on me, but these guys don't deserve any of that. They don't deserve what happened to them, and we're going to avenge them, but as is the case with any death in a Nuzlocke, we have to send all of you off, so... It's time to say goodbye. Cow's crazy. We knew ye well. You were going to be such a strong member of our team. You actually were for a long time, and it was going to be great seeing you shine in the Elite Four. Hopefully, uh, hopefully you'll shine just as brightly up in the sky. Take care. Kirito. You were always kind of the black sheep of the uh, of this team, anyway. And... I don't know, I, I, I always underestimated you, and I really shouldn't have. You were actually pretty strong for what you were, very defensive. Even your offensive capabilities were nothing to mess around with. You were... I grew to love you. It was sort of a slow burn, but in the end, I am very sad to see you go, just like with the rest of these guys. But uh, keep the rest of our teammates up there company with your many noodly appendages. <laughs> See ya, buddy. Zelos, the newest edition, and what the one who probably shone the brightest for uh, for me. Like it was, a, it was such a quick burn, but it was very, very bright. Obviously, you were such a good powerhouse. I wish I'd gotten to use you more, if I'm being completely honest. You're a very powerful asset. And uh, seeing you and Cow's Crazy on the same team was a pretty uh, pretty beautiful sight, to say the least. So I hope you uh, two have fun up in Poke Heaven. Thanks, girl. You're the best. <laughs> I pressed the wrong goddamn I don't want to see you go. I'm sorry. Impolo, a very, uh, talking about Impolo, the actual person out there in real life, you're a very, uh, awesome supporter of this series, commented on pretty much every episode, I believe, and this is your personification in-game who fought very well, he had such, he had one of my more favorite strategies, I would say, that I didn't really get to use all that much, this toxic minimize thing, but, you know, the thought was there, he's a very powerful wall, very strong, strong link in this team. Unfortunately, he wasn't strong enough to, uh, to quite deal with that Steelix, but you know, he put in his very best. And what can I say? A lot of people might underestimate Muck, but we know his true power, and he will be sorely missed, so farewell to you, Impolo. Mr. T. Oh boy, we had quite the, uh, quite the interesting relationship with you, especially in that last Lorelei fight, huh? Despite everything that may have happened, all the, th the thunderbolts you may have missed that could have been crucial to our success, there were so many other times in the past that you saved our hide and, uh, were really one of the strongest members of the team, offensively speaking. You know, you and Giggles, you both shown very well. Both, like, you're you were an amazing special powerhouse, and even your physical abilities left uh, left people hurting. Alas, it turns out that while you may have gotten us past, uh, past Lorelei in the end, it wasn't quite enough, and you fought bravely, you lived up to your name, you were definitely a night elf mohawk, and uh, I hope you continue that legacy up into the ether. 
Bye, buddy. And last, but certainly not least, is Coco, named after our good friend Cocaina. You were really fun. You were a lot of fun to use, honestly. I rarely ever get to use an Aerodactyl. Uh, and that's probably my own fault, because it's just it's just a hard one to train up, but it was totally worth it in the end, seeing you shine. You were very strong, very, very powerful, and honestly, one of the... One of the wranglers of this team, I would say, you were a pretty big powerhouse. That, uh, unfortunately, was just a, you were just a little bit too frail to stand up in the face of, uh, face of the adversity that we had. But, you know, I would, I would use you again in a heartbeat if I could. Goodbye, Coco. Ugh. Keep them in line up there in heaven, okay? I always I always saw you as sort of the leader of this team a little bit. Maybe that's just me, but And that's that, you know. I didn't know that I would be this like sort of emotional about this. I'm not gonna I don't, I'm not gonna cry or anything, but uh I'd be lying if I didn't say that there's some... There's some vengeance to be had here. We need to make this happen, so... Very brief uh, overview of our team. Because this episode's getting on long enough and we still have to fight Lorelei today. Again. We are going to wipe the floor with her this time. That I swear. Got Kevin CV holding the Lax Incense. It's really the best thing I could give him. Psychic Recover Thunderbolt and Thunder Wave. Zamori, our very first Pokemon, still here with us, hopefully here with us to the end if things all go well. Flamethrower, Fire Blast, Fly, and Dragon Claw. There's his stats, he's got the Charcoal. Uh, Kirby. <laughs> Kirby's a very strong uh, Pokemon, and with that Quick Claw, his chance to go first and just decimate you, he could be, uh, could be instrumental in this. He has zero Psychics right now, I will remedy that in a second once I uh, go, to the, go to the PC here. Or not the Pokemon Center, which is, I guess, technically the PC, if you want to... Th n never, never mind, we'll heal up. That's what I'm saying. Psychic, Hypnosis, Shadow Ball, Dream Eater. Altiz. One of the more understated members of the team, but certainly a very, very useful one. Surf, Hydro Pump, Ice Beam, and Bite. All special moves, thanks to uh, the weird Dark-type thing. Leftovers. Um, Grandosco. Probably a fan favorite, I would say, is uh, you rarely if ever, see a Parasect make it this long into a series, especially in a Nuzlocke. Bold Nature, Miracle Seed. Uh, not a ton of uh, great coverage here, but that Spore is invaluable. And then Giga Drain, Leech Life, and Slash, it should be, uh, should get a chance to shine at least a couple times in these upcoming fights. And finally, Antiford. Rock Blast, Double Edge, Earthquake, Brick Break, you are a monster with those moves. Almost 200 health. Hopefully you'll get to level up in these next fights and uh, break that barrier. Holding the leftovers as well, in pitch nature. We can rock now. So let's go ahead and heal up from our grinding session at the uh, at the Pokemon Center here. And I believe it's time. Let's get some fucking revenge now. For all of our fallen teammates. Not even just the ones who fell in the uh, in the previous videos in the previous two videos against the Elite Four, but for everyone who's fallen during this challenge, for all of you. This is it. Our final... Hurrah. Let's do it. So we know that she leads with Dugong. This we know all too well. I think Kevin CV is going to be the best thing against that, because he has Thunderbolt. And that's about the best I can really uh, hope to do against it, so... Kevin CV, bring us home. Just give us a good first fight. Welcome to the Pokemon League. I, Lorelei of the Elite Four, have returned. You know how it goes. No one can best me when it comes to icy Pokemon. Freezing moves are powerful. Your Pokemon will be at my mercy when they are frozen solid. Don't you do that shit again, Lorelei. One, one freeze was enough last time. Are you ready? Only time will tell. Alright, round three against the Elite Four. Let's make some magic happen, my friends. 
We got Dugong in here, level 64. You're not getting the best of me this time. I know all your tricks. Tracing that thick fat. Uh, yeah, try to ice beam me now, bitch. Okay. I could Thunder Wave right off the bat. That might be a wise investment. I think I will. Surf? Uh, that could do a number. But you know what? Once, you, once we Thunder Wave, it'll be faster anyway. So we can recover if we need to. And yet, what am I saying? It's going to do a number. Kevin CB is so fat now that he's Porygon 2. Look how happy he looks. He like doesn't have a face to smile with, really. but Or a mouth to smile with. But he's still just so happy. So hopefully that Thunder Wave will stop any nasty double team nonsense from happening here. Surf. He missed! Oh, that Lax Incense is so good! Oh, how the tables have turned, Lorelei. All right, this Dugong, which was probably our biggest stumbling block in our last fight against Lorelei, is dead easy as that. Holy snap, man. Cloister. I think we're fine to just Thunderbolt again, unless I'm crazy. It's pretty frail special defense. Um, we can take another Surf here, I think. Yeah, we're fine. We're doing all right. Kevin CB is a massive tank. If nothing else. There you go. One freaking shot. Not even the same type of attack bonus. Hoo-ah. Kevin, so good. Pile of Swine. Alright, we're probably going to need a switch for this one. I would say... I think all T's might be our best bet in this case. Because what's a Pile of Swine to an all T's? Come on, buddy. Get out of here. Surf from the kingdom come. Earthquake. Ooh. Ooh. That's a little, uh... A little aggressive there, Pile of Swine. Oh, look at that, we're eating it up, though. You know, our old team, the one that we lost with, was certainly very powerful. But this, uh, this alpha team, as it were, the old guard, there's something special about them. I don't know what it is. It feels like they're just, just like, they're veterans. I don't know, there's something crazy going on. They know what the stakes are in this elite form. Uh, about, I think. And they're putting in all the best work right now. Alright, Lapras was another pretty pretty nasty uh, Pokemon in the past, I think. My best bet here is to bring in Kirby to tank some special hits, put it to sleep, and then bring in Kevin CV, recover up, go for Thunderbolts. That seems like my personal pick for the best play right now. Thunder. <laughs> that would have been bad. That would have definitely been bad. I honestly, like, kind of forgot that you had that. Okay. Oh! That's a little nasty. It's okay, though. It's okay. We'll still be fine here. We can eat up at least one or two surfs. Paralyzed. Oh, Kirby. Come on, just get, need to get this one hypnosis off, buddy. That's all I'm asking of you. Hypnosis, it does land. Okay, okay. We're good here. Kirby's kind of out of commission for this fight, but that's that should be fine. I don't think she has anything that Kirby would be necessarily great against anyway. Kevin, get back in here. Come on, Lapras. You need to stay asleep as long as possible. Oh, Trace, that water absorb! I totally forgot about that. Oh, Trace is such a good ability. All right, let's go ahead and recover up. We are faster naturally, actually. That's kind of a surprise. I guess Kevin is a lot faster than he's evolved. Full health, baby, and you're still fast asleep. Kevin's too good. Especially when he gets support from his buddies here. With a little help from my friends, no one can stop us. Oh my lord. Look at that. Come on, stay. Yeah, you do stay asleep. You ain't got a chance in hell, Lorelei. What are you thinking? Why don't you pick on someone your own size? Alright, who does she still have left? She has like one, oh, I think she just has Jinx left actually, yeah. Okay, um, I know I said Kirby wouldn't be good in this bat battle, but Shadow Ball would be nice to have right about now. What else can I do against Jinx? I would say Antiphor, because Rock type would be good here, but, I mean, what am I saying? Zamori, duh. <laughs> Durr, um, a durr. Lovely Kiss, is that the one that confuses me? No, it puts me to sleep. I always get the confused with Sweet Kiss, which is the one that confuses you. Alright, uh, I should probably go for... I think Flamethrower will be enough here, honestly. It is level 66. Attract! Oh, you would! 
Especially because my whole te my whole team is freaking male, except for Kevin, who's gender neutral. But he has a male name, so. All right, Ice Beam, it's neutral, so that's not going to be uh, the best thing for us right now. Oh my lord. Ah. Uh, all right, Zamori. Okay, if you he, see, he's not going to wake up here, so we're probably going to have to switch out. That's okay. That's okay. Zamori, you got you got kind of a shit draw there. Um, but we're gonna take you out of here. Uh, who wants to come in on an ice beam? I guess Kevin might. But what do you hit it with? I guess Thunderbolt would be the best thing. I think Altees would honestly do fine in this matchup. He can uh he can surf the day. Actually, does he have Shadow Ball? I kind of forget. You have Psychic, which is uh not what I wanted you to go for. Oh, especially after with that. Okay. We do have the leftovers to offset that a little bit, so that's fine. Um, you have Bite, that's right. I forgot, I knew you had something that was effective against, uh, or I was pretty sure you had something that was effective against Psychic types. Just couldn't remember what it was. That sleep is starting to be a real nuisance here. Okay. I'm gonna... I might have to play some mind games here. Let's go ahead and switch to Cab and CV. Because I feel like she's going to go for Attract or an Attacking move. In which, and if either of those, Oblivious. That's fine. Yeah, you did. Okay, so that uh, prevents Romance. Okay. That's fine, too. I don't think it would work because I'm uh, genderless. Let's go ahead and Thunder Wave. Oh. That's what I was worried about. I was actually contemplating just switching back out to uh, Altees in order to prevent this sort of nonsense from happening. I think I'm just going to try and get a Thunder Wave off. Ice Beam Mist, that Wax Incense is really coming through in the clutch right now. It's okay, it's okay. This Jinx is actually proving to be- oh my god. Okay, well that was a critical hit, that would explain that one. Uh, a bit scary. Definitely more than a bit scary, I would say, actually. Hmm. This isn't gonna happen. We're not letting this happen. I think... Ugh. It's a tough call, it really is. I'm gonna go for a cover. I think Kevin can take one more. Oh, Kevin! It's not a critical hit, don't be a critical hit. We're fine, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. <gasps> oh, you fell asleep, you stayed asleep though! You're kidding me! Oh, that was almost the greatest play in the world. Okay, well, we can't leave him in now, obviously. Kirby and Samori and Kevin are all out of commission. Altiz is not that far off. Uh, I really... Grandosco and Antifor cannot afford to come in here. That's the problem. Oh, man. This is a tough call, because I don't know if she's going to go for Psychic... Or she's gonna go for Ice Beam again. I feel like a Psychic might be incoming. In which case, I would probably switch into Grandosco, I guess? I don't know. Let's, I have to go with Altees, it's the safest play. Come on, come on. Go Ice Beam, go Ice Beam. Yeah, alright, that's fine. Gives us another chance to at least uh, wake up here, hopefully. This Jinx is uh, something else, apparently. Let's go ahead and try and bite. Psychic. It's gonna wait. Ah, that did wait. Oh, come on! My team just cannot wake up! Oh, no. This will not abide, Jinx. Okay. Fast asleep! Are you freaking kidding me with this? This is not happening, man. It's not. It really isn't. All right. Ick. Now what? Holy shit. Uh, uh, <laughs> I really want Kirby in here. I really do, but I can't bring him in in any way, because he might live a Psychic, potentially, but then he's just going to get hit with Ice Beam right after. It's gotta be one of these two that I send in. 
but they'll both die to Ice Beam, I'm pretty sure, and I don't think either of them outspeed Jinx. Definitely not Grandosco. Because nothing's outspeeding Jinx right now. Zamori might, but he's asleep, so... Oh my goodness, this is bad. Lorelei, you always have to do this. You always have to take away the things I love the most. Man, I gotta go with Antifort, I think. I think I have to. Because... He's the only one that can take Jinx out at this point right now. Antiford. Alright, we'll take it. Eat that Psychic. Eat it better than I think you will. Oh, that's pretty bad. Okay, the leftovers. The Ice Beam is incoming. It's either Ice Beam or it's gonna be fucking lovely kiss and just put me to sleep again and then who cares, but... Let's... We gotta go for Rock Blast. Ice Beam. Antiford! Hang in there, little buddy! Please? No, man. This cannot be happening right now. Oh, lord, are you kidding me? Look at my team! Oh, god. I have to bank on being- on Grandosco being able to take one Ice Beam here. Grandosco, you've never let me down before. Spore. I believe in you. I believe. <gasps> Grandosco! Okay, okay, okay. This is a very important moment. Beach life, maybe? It's not gonna do a ton. My other option is to, like, switch and then hope something can wake up. Grandosco. <laughs> that was... something else. Come on, buddy. For your friends, for Antiford. Oh god. I need her to stay asleep for two more turns. Well, realistically. Okay, hold on. I think I'm gonna le I'm gonna leash life again. Pray to fucking God above that he doesn't wake up. Then Lorelai's probably gonna go for a full restore. At which point I have to go for the spore. I have to go for the hard read there. Please stay asleep. You're asleep. Okay. A critical hit would also be very appreciated right now. But don't don't sweat it if you don't get it, Grandosco. You've already been amazing. Okay. She hasn't used any full restores yet. I don't think... No, she hasn't. I have to go for Spore. She's getting full restore. She has to full restore. She did. Okay, she fucking... She fucking did. Oh my lord. Alright. Grandoski used Spore. This is gonna be... tight. Oh, this is so tight. Leech life. I think I get that one sleep guaranteed, at least. She might have a chance to wake up on the next turn, though. This is so scary. Grandosco, you're doing so well, though. Oh my goodness. I can't switch in anything. I can switch in Kirby, maybe, but that's too risky. I have, I have to hope Grandosco can can do the do the darn thing. I don't. I, is she gonna go for a second full restore? That's my ultimate question. Ah, uh, I was really hoping I could just kill somehow there. Okay. Here's my thinking. Whether or not she goes for another full restore right now doesn't matter. Or I, I, I have to go for Leech Life is what I'm trying to say here. Because if she goes for a full restore, then Jinx will be awake, obviously. 
but I'll get Leech Life off and I'll be at full HP and the potential to live another Ice Beam is there. If she doesn't go for a full restore, then Jinx either wakes up and kills Grandosco here, which is the worst possible outcome, or she stays asleep and we kill her. So that's my play. I can't go for Spore right now. It's far too risky. I think Grandosco can do this. Okay. Okay. She did do it for a full restore. That's fine. <laughs> that's fine. I say that's fine, but do you hear the trepidation in my voice? <laughs> okay. We're at full HP. I have to go for Spore and hope that Grandosco can make a second miracle happen. This is... Oh my lord. Grandosco. I'm not even looking. I can't look. He's alive! I heard the lived. He lived at three again! Oh, that's so amazing. I don't believe this is happening right now. Grandosco? Each life? There's no fucking chance she goes for a third full restore, right? I don't think she does that. I think she's limited to two. Am I willing to bet Grandosco's life on that, though? I mean, if I go for Spore, that's that, and she doesn't full restore, that's the worst possible outcome, so I have to leech life. I'm I'm caught here. I have to do this. She's asleep. We fucking took down Jinx with Grandosco. Oh. Oh, my little heart. That was way, way too fucking insane. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me, Lorelai? Grandosco. Things shouldn't be this way. I have goosebumps. That was in nuts. That was... My god, Grandosco, if nothing- if- if everything else goes to shit, let it be known that you were the MVP of that fucking fight. Oh my god. I don't believe- that was so nuts. I- I keep saying it, but I'm just in shock right now. I mean, let's not gloss over the fact that Antiford is... is out. No longer with us now. That is... Cataclysmic, honestly. But you know what? His sacrifice was not in vain. Without him getting in there and taking that hit, Grandosco could never have gotten in for free and, and do what he had to do. So, Antiford, you saved the team just as much as Grandosco did right now. Good fucking fight, buddy. Good fight. Take this leftovers off of you, maybe give that to someone else here, but for now, that's gonna be it. Uh, thank you everyone for watching. Next time, we're gonna keep on going with this Elite Four shenaniganery. I don't even know what to expect from now on, so, uh, thanks for watching. This is Argon Matrix, signing out. Thank you and good night.